Well, hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Um, yeah, how's it going, everyone? Uh, yes. What the hell happened, right? I know. Um, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather uh, the past couple of days. Um, probably mentioned in the community tab that you probably already know. You, you probably know how to delay the live stream from yesterday or two days ago. I don't even know days anymore right now. But yeah, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm trying to recover from that. I got my motion in potion here, or my potion in motion here. I got stuff inside of it. I've tried different kinds of potions, and uh, thank you so much for the person that you know who you are, who recommended uh, a nice recipe, and that actually really helped out quite a bit. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're going to be jumping into this episode because uh, it's very late right now, and I know I should be resting. <laughs> All right? Uh, Danielle's snoring up a storm right now, but... Um, yeah, I feel like I needed to at least get an episode in of the King of Retail so that I can have it in the morning before my stream and so that you guys can have it. So there you go. Right? This is going to come out before the stream. Yeah, it is. Sure. Anyways, today, if it's not so, like, hyped up, I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying my best to, to maintain sanity here a little bit. Uh, but one thing I do want to say is that it's going to get, it, it, it is going to get spicy. It is going to be freaking spicy because we have $130,000 and uh, we're going to be opening up a new store here today in the medium district with a new uh, grocery store. So that's incredible. That's incredible in all itself. So medium is where we're going to be. I guess it really doesn't matter between these one, two, three, four, uh, four different locations. I'm sure I, sh excuse me, I'm sure they're all the same demographic, right? Yeah, okay, they are. It'd be kind of stupid if they weren't. Anyways, um, it doesn't really matter. The more properties here, I mean, it's more of a gamey type thing in case you wanted to have multiple properties here in this location, of course. So we're just going to pick this one off to the right here, kind of away from these others because anti-social reasons. No, <laughs> just because. Um, I'm thinking about doing a large. I am thinking about doing a large, uh, but, you know, $65,000 is an incredible amount. Uh, so maybe a medium to start out with is not too bad. Uh, $30,000 paid off uh, right away. Then we can have our own expansions going forward. I mean, hang on a sec. Like, the positioning of the uh, of this is, is kind of good compared to the medium. Um, I know we can change these by ourselves. But, um, yeah. Because um, I do plan on at least bringing... And, and this is going to sound way too much. I'm planning on bringing about $40,000 with me to the grocery store. Um, to kind of get it up and running now it might be way too much, but I'd rather have more than less right uh, So it's just you know between the other two like a medium or a large a medium or a large What would you order at McDonald's a medium or a large? Um, you know, I think we're gonna go probably medium Probably medium. Yeah, let's go medium because like I said we can expand it our, our own selves. So there we go. Oh, baby All right so now that we got we blah, blah, now that we got that started, that is actually officially our one two three. That's our fourth store. So we have two. Oh, sorry, excuse me. We have two clothing stores and two um, uh, grocery stores. So that's 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 incredible. That's incredible in its own self. I think. Hopefully, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh, we got to go downstairs. We got to go downstairs. We got to assign the store to a new concept, right? And this is going to be strictly the grocery concept. That's going to be that. So set up store, sell store. No, no, no. Show info set up store. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, so I kind of forgot. Uh, bottles and cans, right? Bottles and cans. And I would like to dump 40000 Oh God, $40,000 into this son of a gun. Um, and I probably won't need to have to use that much money, but um, that's, a, that's a good start. It's a good start regardless for a grocery store at least. So there we go, $40,000. And look, we're making so much money every single day that um, it's okay. It, we're we're going to be fine. We're going to be really fine. So there we go. We have that. We have officially have that. Now, now corporation fee is 60% on grocery stores. And I think I'm happy with that. Um, that's one thing that we haven't really talked about in a very, very long time is that um, if we ever do become in a bind of some sort or we ever need to push out a, a little bit of extra money, um, has that always been silver? Yeah, I've been losing my mind, dude. <laughs> um, if we ever need to push out a little bit of extra money, we only take 60% from the grocery stores. Cause so, uh, you know, that's like, Hey, uh, we can push a little bit more out of the grocery stores if we need to. That's like dire need, right? That's like if an update comes and freaking tornadoes us. Anyways, let's go to our new store here at the uh, Charlton Market 18th Street um, and set this bad boy up. So this is going to be day zero, so don't screw it up, forehead. on. Now I really have a forehead, right? Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, 
This is day zero, so don't screw it up, right? Don't screw it up. We've had three, four, possibly four different kinds of day zeros here. So this is your time to shine, buddy. This is your time to shine. And you're not wrong. Uh, this design the interior is probably going to be a little bit different than, um, than how we have it at the other grocery store. Just because if you're trying to... If you think that I'm going to remember something right now, you are out of your friggin' mind, dude. I don't even know my name. Uh, but already, like, first off, first impressions of the store is, eh, I'm not really, in, like, liking this area a little bit, the staff in the storage room, but um, it's fine for now. It's fine for now. Honestly, um, what kind of colors? Like, I, I do want to bring in a different kind of color for the, uh, the flooring. Like, what happens if we brought in, like, a gray? Right? Like a gray... No, not a gray brick. Are you kidding me? A gray wood? No. Definitely not. Okay, maybe that is a little too much. Maybe like a lighter, like a silver-ish? Like, what if we did that with a wood? How would that look? Dude, the music is freaking bumping here, I tell you what. That's not too bad, actually. Um, this is to be uh, determined or subject to change, of course, depending on if you guys like it or not. But um, I think it's not too bad. Now, the ceiling color. What if we just made it a black? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So it's $39,000. Um, so it's going to be busy here, right? That's one thing I am not really liking about the, the smaller compared to the bigger. Uh, but look, we saved $30,000, so shoot me in the freaking foot, all right? Uh, first things first that we need to kind of do first. First things first before we need to do first, right? Doesn't make much sense now speaking about it. Uh, something that we need to do right away is instantly think about it registers. And this is something I've kind of like overlooked in the past, right? Never really uh, looked towards it. Now, this is a different color. I know this is a different color compared to, um, you know, the other stores. And that's all right. Because, like, let's pretend like our OG store, since it's technically our first store we've ever opened in this corporation. Let's just pretend that it's, you know, it's it's one of the, run not like a rundown store, but it's like a very old store, you know. Uh, this is like the updated, new and improved, you know, grocery store. I, you know, that'd be kind of cool, right? Anyways, uh, now, register is going to be very, very tough. Uh, to kind of deal with right off the bat here at this store. It's going to be weird and it's going to suck. I, I'll admit it. It's going to suck a little bit. But uh, let's try to make it as, as best as we can to like minimize headaches, right? So this isn't a traditional way we would put, oh, you son of a gun. Well, we could actually expand the, the, the room back here a little bit before day one, which we might do uh, on day one. But if we can line up maybe two register people or two registers here back to back and then that's that I'm happy with that for now because the customers will come in and they'll be like here and then they'll walk out right um, it's not the final product and I don't need to explain that to you guys because you guys are very smart and like you understand final product this is not it this is just the beginning of something right do we even try to do these green things? Like that's my, that's like too much green, no? I think that's too much green, my man. So what if we did like a dark, a dark silver? That, uh, <laughs> or like a, a lighter silver maybe? Uh, that's too bright. Like a in-betweener? How does that look? Uh, that doesn't look too bad, but um, I probably end up forgetting about what color that is. So I would like to try to use a color that I've, I've had. Uh, is there like a reset? I guess there isn't, is there? Hmm. Uh, well, what we'll do is we'll actually just save this color. All right, we'll save that color. Yeah, we'll save that color, and then we'll just mix it with the green shelving. Like, the shelving to go green. That's fine. Okay. So, where do I want things? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm not expecting too much uh, too soon here. I hope you're not either. Um, I just want to put out things that I know, well, I, I expect things to sell no matter what here, uh, which might be a bad expectation, but that, that, that's kind of like off the top of my head. Like, I expect everything to be selling here to, you know, very soon. Um, but I also don't want to, like, bring in everything, right? I don't want to bring in everything. I want to bring in things that are going to sell and, and, and so forth. I know what I just said. Just, I, again, I'm a little lost. <laughs> I'm a little lost right now. 
Now, I don't want to put anything in this corner because I do kind of want to expand this out a little bit, push back the walls so that, um, yeah, so that we have, you know, more, <laughs> um, what is it? What am I trying to look for? Uh, you know, more room for the register. Let me take a drink before I lose my mind. Um, yeah, so things aren't going to be looking pretty today. I, or day, day one is not going to be looking pretty. It's the, the store is not going to make sense. Like F, like I, I, I'm already saying F, like F me and F all of this because I just hate the way it looks. Even though I'm trying to like, I'm trying to talk out loud here, right? I am. I'm doing a very good job at it, by the way. Um, but <laughs> uh, I'm trying to just say that. I'm trying to say it out loud so that I, I guess I'm trying to convince myself. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm trying to convince myself that it's going to be okay and that it's only temporary, right? Temporar temporarily. Until we get like, you know, our feet underneath us. Uh, one thing that I got to do that's that's drastic is go into the storage room immediately and be like, hey, uh, delivery unit. And we want the best delivery unit. Yes, we do. We want the best delivery and we want the best storage. So there we go. We'll do this. 420 items. Honestly, 420 items coming into the store now. I don't see it quite yet, but uh, probably eventually. Uh, storage. Yeah, we want the best storage as well. And this is going to hold us off and hold us over for, you know, quite a bit, quite a bit of some time, I, I, I would assume, right? Or I would hope. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll come back in here and redo the walls and all that eventually. I'm just trying to still figure out this stuff. Now, what we could do is we can move this over to the side. And I'm kind of like brewing some ideas. Like this is all, you know, this is all improv for the most part. Everything I do on the channel is improv. Um, it, there's no script. It's just me hit record and then uh, we'll see what happens on the other side, right? That's typically how I roll. That's how I like to roll. And um, it builds character, builds skills, I like to think. Probably doesn't. Probably builds a sense of humor of anything, but yeah. So I think in all, I'm thinking already that we kind of create a tiny aisle, right? Not like too tiny, but like a aisle, like a, <laughs> like, like this is weird, dude. This is, this is honestly weird. Like you walk, uh, well, maybe it's not too weird. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, like there they can walk out. And then I have like a back row here. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm liking this a little bit. This has to be like, it has to start out like I'm, I, uh, a tiny mini mart oh my god this song just came on it has to start out a tiny mini mart uh but quickly i mean money is being drained thoroughly right now so there we go we'll do that we gotta at least get some uh refrigerators in right i want to have a little bit of everything in at the moment um what kind of refrigerator do we want i don't know dude um like i like I don't think I've tried this one yet. I don't think I've had this one in before. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And maybe like one more. And I I mean, it looks bad, but it's a start, right? It's definitely a start. So there we go. We got a, we got a lot of rows for pantry items. Uh, a lot of rows. Well, not a lot, but a few rows for, um, what is it? Drinks. Actually, we could probably add another drink if... I'm going to be quite fair here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. There you go. And then eventually I want to push back this wall. Well, and I say eventually, I mean like right away. Push back this wall and put in another register before our day even starts on uh, on our first day or on our grand opening, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, this needs to be kind of addressed. Um, and I, I want to put these next to the, the door, right? So it's very quick and easy. Uh, marketing. Yeah, marketing, I guess, for whatever reason. It's, like, not a big deal, but it's, like, it's cheap. So just put it down. Don't complain about it. Same with the, like, coffee machine. Like, it's okay. It's all right. It's cheap. Just bring it in. Okay. So real quick, let's go ahead and matchy-match the design designers here. We'll go bottom here, and we'll put it in. I don't have a problem making the entire store like this. I really don't. It looks fine. It's doing okay. I like it. You like it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I do. So take an f to the forehead on that one dude all right so we're gonna do that we're gonna copy that go all the way around and again this 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 it, like our other grocery store is not matched up very well oh my f are you kidding me we can't get behind there and do that oh don't give me that there we go all right kind of just got to sneak in there <clears throat> all right so that's good 
Um, yeah, uh, you know what? I think this is a pretty good start. I, I think it is. Like, I think this is a little bit of experience. Like, compared to, like, when I've opened stores in the past, um, not a lot of thought. Like, a lot of forehead went into it, but not a lot of brain went into it. Uh, this time, I like to think a little bit more brain has gone in with a lot of bit, of, or a little bit of forehead. However, the, the way I look today and the appearance I look, I mean, let's be honest, like, you brought a lot of forehead. I can't, I can't deny that. I get that. I get it. I get it. So, uh, it's very hard. Very hard. Um, we're going to be, yeah, I don't have a problem with putting up our, our stuff here when that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, did that, you son of a gun. I said border. Thank you. Border. We'll put that bad boy right there. Yeah. Oh, you bill hole. All right, change it. And then, where is it, where is it, where is it? This one. Yeah. All right, that's good. So that's good. Um, I'll, I'll put more signs up as we go, but uh, I think this is pretty good. I need to mo mostly focus in on, um, on, uh, on bringing in... Oh, you know what I can do? I can do this. Watch. Groceries, cans. This one. The spice rack, baby. I can bring in the spice rack again. I'll put that right there. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good one, right? Okay, so now let's start doing orders, right? God, I had to take a breath, a deep breath there. I'm getting short of breath a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, so groceries, what is something I want in the cans department? Well, I want spices. I, no, I want, I want to do this here. I was like, I could do this in the computer. No, you want to do this here now on day zero. Um, but there we go. We're going to, we're going to bring in that. And honestly, like this is so cheap. $20 or $20, 20 items each. That should get us a good, um, good going, right? Good forward. And I'm like expecting to sell a lot. This is a medium population. Oh my God, 320. This is a medium population area. Um, yeah, I, I expect there to be some big time controversy once we uh, open up. Uh, let's do, I'm going straight for quality too. I'm going straight for quality. I know we're looking at ecologists. We're looking at a major laborer, labor segment, which actually, <sighs> you know what? Hang on a sec. Hold that thought. Can I check my demographic right here? I can, but not to the full extent that I'm wanting. Yeah. Okay. So we're having laborers, hipsters, and techies. Um, designer and quality. That's things that those are things that we need to bring in. Designer or whatever the blue is, and then quality. Yeah, I think I'll be happy with that. I'm in the wrong category. All right. So there we go. Oh, good. It's saved. All right. So there we go. We got that going on. Let's go ahead and get some coffee in. I would like to get in a high quality and high designer like this right here, the diamond standard coffee. I think this is a pretty strong move. So we're going to bring in four of those bad boys in. Uh, and should I go 20 again? Probably 20, baby. There we go. And I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know. Because you can't get special delivery on a regular day with the parcel service we have now. Can we get special delivery with day zero? Now, you're probably screaming at the screen that you're watching this on all i gotta say is please please don't yell <laughs> don't yell and wake up the baby but um yeah because i can only bring in about 500 items right now at a time that's only if he comes once but i'm assuming i'm assuming and this is my assumption here i'm assuming that i can bring in as many deliveries as i want and we're going to find that out together. Well, you already know the answer. I don't, but you do. I can't remember the answer half the time. Uh, cleaning products? Maybe. Maybe. I want to get the important stuff in first. So again, when it comes to labor and uh, and, 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 and hipsters and techies, I, I don't know off the top of my head what they're doing. Like wealth, if they're doing fashion, that's the one designer. It's fashion. Uh, which one they do the most? We could bring in both, right? We can have a very high quality kind of meat, and then we can have a very high organic hipster kind of thing, which isn't a bad idea. Looking at it now. This is always a good seller. Uh, the salads and the red cabbage along with the hummus. Well, 
salad and hummus, I guess. Uh, we've never had the red cabbage, I don't think. So this is, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go quality meat, right? Chicken, beef, sausages, minced meat. And we're going to bring in... We're going to bring in... 15 of those each. Yeah, 15 each. 15 each. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then 15 each. So we're going to be 15 each of those. And then we're going to bring in our designer ones. I will admit, I'm not very confident in these ones. So I'm going to kind of lower the expectation and lower the queue here. Who knows? They might be the best selling thing in the media market, labor, hipster district of all time. But for just like a caution in my own experience with this stuff, 10 on the board for now, 10 on the board. That's good for refrigerated items, not all together, but for right now, I guess, um, until I can figure out what I'm doing with everything. Uh, vegetables and fruit, we don't have those in quite yet, so we're gonna kinda have them have those on hold. Um, I feel a sneeze coming, so if I you know step away for a sec, please forgive me. Um, this is actually, the diamond standard is actually, oh dude. Oh God, help! So the diamond standard is actually a pretty high, high quality, high quality and high designer. And that's the gold wine. And I'm okay with that. Let's bring in the gold and white. I mean, they're the same thing, different colors. Um, and let's bring in 15 of those, not 20, 15. 15, because they are expensive. They are expensive. Um, so we'll bring in at least two bottles of wine. That will go one, two, and then we can go two, four. All right, so two, four, <clears throat> we'll bring in, yeah, the tree wine. Yeah, the tree wine. We, we've had successful times with the tree wine. We're going to bring in the uh, black and white bottle of the tree wine. And then we're going to bring in a nice green bottle of the tree wine. And we're going to do it again. 15. 15 on each there. So that's going to be good. All right. So that's good on that. Um, any more wine? Two, four, two, four. Um, two wine. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. All right. So that's good. All right. Let's go to more beverages. We'll go to liquor. Hard liquor. Now, what's the high quality and high designer in this? This is going to be kind of this, whatever the heck this is in real life. I don't know what it is in real life. But, um, yeah, we're going to try that, I guess. Get those bottles. We're going to go one, two. Yeah, one, two. We're going to bring those ones in. And then we're going to bring in the Captain Morgans. Yeah. I'm kind of expecting the customers that are coming through, they're not really going to be worrying about prices too much. So we're going to bring in the Captain Morgans. We're going to bring in a brown bottle and white bottle. Again, we're going to go 15. This should do one more shelf. So we have three more shelves that we can play with here. Um, it's a lot, a lot of units, right? I'm, I'm going to need to make sure I have enough storage and enough delivery units and all that and whatnot and so forth, right? Um, but that's okay. Two, wait, one, two. Okay, that's two. So uh, beer. Beer, we could probably bring in a, quite a bit of it. I'm not sure. High quality organic beer. Um, it's cheap. It's cheap, but we'll do it. So blue, green, and then red, blue. Strictly just quality there. And then, I mean, bring back the Coronas, right? Bring back the Coronas. We'll do blue and black this time. Um, we need like one more set of beer. Yeah, we need one more set of beer. And that's going to be, hey, what is that going to be? Uh... I guess we can go with this. We haven't done this. This is strictly designer or luxury or whatever the heck it's called. We've never had this beer in before. So let's give this a whirlwind and see how that does. And again, we'll do 15 on those. 15 on those. And now we are like grazing over our limit here, uh, which should be interesting to see how all this works out here in a sec. Uh, but I'm kind of just filling up the basket as much as I can and just saying, screw it. So let's see what happens. So 15 there and 15 there. And I do want to make at least one shelf um soda soda friendly i know people kind of like against the soda thing because like it doesn't really work that well but i feel like having everything is fine having everything is fine like a coca-cola let's bring in a coca-cola it's a high luxury item let's bring that in um and then let's bring in a, a green coca-cola or like a sprite you know bring in a sprite and then let's give us so that's the highest uh designer is where's the highest quality soda there's not really much is there uh, I guess the highest quality technicality is going to be whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, it's that. It's the blue one. 
Okay, well, all right, we'll bring in two of those and see how that does. So quality in a uh, luxury is something that obviously I am targeting with this segment here. Okay, all right. There we go, and there we go. So the drinks are mostly done right now. So if we scroll back up to the top here, we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing here as far as aisle wise. So aisle wise, um, we have one, two, three, four coffee, right? That will go one, right? I know it could add more, but come on, hang on a sec, right? That's the only thing, we only have one. Okay, so one, so one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, wait, five, um, six, seven, eight. So we have eight things open. One, two, three refrigerators, which we have, we're gonna fill up with meat and then organic meat. And then we gotta figure out what else to put in there. Um, uh, like another thing to put in like seafood, pizza, peas. Uh, ooh, look at those. Actually, we're bringing these. Shrimp, clams, oyster. And yes, more could go in that refrigerator alone, but uh, we're gonna be doing just that for right now. Um, the store's not gonna be exactly perfect, guys, all right? It's not gonna be exactly perfect. So there we go, we got that. Um, and then like pantry items, dude, pantry items. I, I mean, we probably could have went, like we probably did go overboard on the pantry items. Uh, but it's all right. It's okay. We'll bring in the dressings, right? Bring in the dressings, the ranch, the Thousand Islands, the buffalo sauce, the honey mustard. I'm assuming that's what that is. We'll bring in those. We'll bring in the high designer, um, high luxury, whatever the hell, chips. We have. I don't think we've ever had the high priced chips in before. We've had the low quality chips, not the high priced ones. Uh, we can have a different kind of uh, coffee. We can have a, uh, a high luxury coffee, um, but I'm kind of staring away from that right now. We'll do uh, rice. Yeah, we'll do rice. We'll bring in some rice. Bring in four things of rice. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four. So that is um, one, two, three. Okay, so that's three. So that's four. We have five more shelves that are empty or five more shelves that we can use. Um, let's bring in this. This is going to be um, fourth or four more shelves now. We'll bring in nuts, berries, and fruits. Uh, I mean, sugar, honestly. We'll bring in cake. That means we have three more that we can do now three more uh let's bring in cereal um that means we have two more to work with now make sure they're all the same kind and then uh jars yeah that means we will have one more to work with now that we have the jars in and everything's going to change don't worry everything's going to change once it's all out and everything um and then soup like high designer soup maybe uh but there's not really a high quality soup oh i guess there is there's diamond standard that's high quality uh, yeah, you know what? I think that's where we go with ourselves here. We could bring in the sugar and salt and fl You know what? Bring in the sugar, salt, and flour. I know it's a very, very cheap item, but hell, every grocery store needs to have it regardless. So, across the board, this is going to be all 15, right? All 15. And this is going to be a lot of money. This is going to be a lot of units. I don't know how we're going to order all of this. Again, it's all up in the air, baby. It's all up in the freaking air. I tell you what. All right. I mean, it's funny because like I don't know what's gonna happen, but you know what's gonna happen. And you're like, you're either like, dude, you're screwed, or like, dude, you're fine, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Man, my head is killing me. I tell you what. Okay. There we go. Um, there we are. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very. I mean, this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. Now, I wonder if you can tab. You think you could tab? Let's see here. I think I've made this assumption before. Yeah, you can. It's just not so... Oh, my Fs. Yeah, see, it's not so fast and efficient. We'll just do this. So we're going to be breaking the thousand, thousand unit mark here. And we did break it. So there it is. Still, like, underneath $10,000 is pretty good to me, I say. There we go. There we go. There we go, there we go. And last but not least, there we are. Oh baby, so 1,030 items we're gonna be ordering in right now. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Send it please. Order, order has been placed. Cool, now with our order being placed, what happens next? Do we call the man and say, hey, all deliveries are free today. Oh, so all deliveries are free, so there you go. Send it please. 
out for delivery. Um, he's only going to be able to drop off 420 items, so... I'm not making any special, like, changes for this, for, for, for this man. <laughs> like, it is going to be, you know, it is what we, what, what, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 it's November 11th, which is actually technically the release date for the new Skyrim um, anniversary <laughs> game. So, <laughs> nice. No. All right, not enough room. He'll be back. So this is going to be the probably the longest part of this whole process is unpacking, uh, bringing in the new stuff, trying to figure out where the new stuff is. This is going to be a complete episode of just building the store. Then the next episode might have to be like hiring the people, right? Um, which is going to be kind of crazy to do. But you do have to admit that this time, this time opening up a new store, it's actually going a lot better and a lot smoother than it did previous times. Like, uh, the, it's, it's, it's a lot less, damn it, forehead, right? It's more or less, good job. You're, you're finally figuring it out after episodes 169. I don't know. Uh, yeah, right? It's, it's, it's quite incredible what this guy can do, right? If he just sticks his brain or head to it. All right, so there we go. Our storage is full. <clears throat> so let's see what we got in. Do we get? We obviously got some drinks in, right? Sodas. Okay, this, this is where I wanted to put the soda. So the soda will go boom, and we'll go boom and boom. We're gonna have to set um, minimum storage for everything, right? For everything. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a backlog type item. Uh, the drinks because of where the shelves are right or how the shelves are because they don't they don't carry a lot They carry a little right. So let's see here liquor wine beer uh, Yeah, 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 we'll go beer. We'll go there and we'll go there Fast forward that boom 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 all right, and then uh, wine I guess start over here I think we had like two things of wine or two things of liquor. I don't remember uh, We'll do gold on top and then we'll go white on the bottom, or the tree ones on the bottom. And then we're gonna need to put a display in the window, right? I know, I remembered. We're gonna need to put a display in the window. So that's something. Uh, so that's, is that? I don't think we got any liquor, right? Like no hard liquor? No, okay. So we can move on over to the refrigerator aisle, aisle kind of. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go fresh food, refrigerated. So we didn't get everything that I wanted, but we got something. So we'll go chicken first. And that will go in there. We got a lot of the organic stuff in, which is funny. All right, so the organic stuff will go right here, right next door. And we'll go refrigerated. Um, what is that? Avocado salad. That sounds freaking good. Uh, Plant-based meat and uh, grilled plant beef. Now, <laughs> when I was in LA a couple of weeks ago, last month maybe, um, I tried for the first time. There was an option, right? There was an option. There was um, organic, there was like plant-based uh, hamburger, right? There was a plant-based hamburger that I got and then Danielle got the same hamburger but not plant-based, just regular meat. And the reason why was there's a little bit of theory into it because I'm always thinking like ahead of time. I'm always thinking like, you know, eventually I think things will go into plant-based. Plant-based will be big in the future, who knows, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see how it tastes. And I got a plant-based burger. First time ever. And I have to say, it was not that bad. <laughs> um, the patties, it, you can definitely tell there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a difference, right? There's a difference between the patty and a regular patty or like a beef patty. Um, but it wasn't like, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I didn't have it like problem with it danielle didn't like it very much but um she could definitely tell a difference but i really couldn't so i don't know what that tells you um but yeah i had a plant-based burger it wasn't too bad i had some fun with it um right here we're just gonna throw it like this isn't really like organized to anything really i'm just gonna be putting stuff wherever i want to right now so we'll do the coffees here and there you go there you go there you go I talked about, because I saw a hedgehog in the Discord, right? I've talked about pets and stuff, and da Danielle likes pets, obviously. She likes animals and all that. Something she's always wanted was a hedgehog, but something she also she's always was interested in was a ferret, right? She's always wanted a ferret. I told her, however, though, ferrets are a huge, huge responsibility. Way, like, very, very needy. Um, 
very very active you have to take care of ferrets like to a par right it's a very big deal to have a ferret um it doesn't matter that i told her this <laughs> in hindsight but i just i would just tell her that i'd be like it's, it's a big responsibility and the reason why it doesn't matter in hindsight is because we live in california and if you're not familiar uh california has there's a law against um wow those jars are big there's a law against uh ferrets you're not allowed to have a ferret and there's a law against hedgehogs you are not allowed to have a hedgehog yes it's against the law to own a hedgehog where we live it's incredible isn't it <laughs> it is what it is though um i think we actually had a spice we didn't put it on a spice rack we actually made spices part of the shelving here which is actually kind of interesting so we'll do that now is that all the stuff we have out right now i got or all the stuff that we could put out right now i guess that is let's see oh no there's still a few more boxes all right a few more boxes um looks like some cereal uh beer i think that's what that is some more rice we can put out uh veggie bacon apparently we can put out I didn't even know we had, or I, I ordered veggie bacon, but apparently I did. There we go, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and get some veggie bacon. I'd be up, I'd be up to, dry, to try veggie bacon. Like, I'm not, like, scared. <laughs> I'm not scared, dude. Let me do it. Let me try it. What was this gonna be? One beer, one beer. This is the other beer, I guess? Is that what this was gonna be, the other beer? Yeah, the other beer. And then we'll put that right there, I guess. So we have wine, liquor, beer, beer, soda. Okay. All right. So we can bring this guy in, right? There we go. Cool. He's coming right on in. Awesome. Now, how are we doing on storage, though? Very, very poor. <laughs> very, very poor. Okay. Um, let's see here. Storage units. I didn't want to do this, but it looks like I'm going to be having to do this. There we go. So how much room did that create us? Quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward time. The man just came right through. Still didn't have enough to drop everything off. That's all right. Or we still have more that he still needs to drop off. We probably won't have enough to store all this in the boxes or, you know, in the, in the thing doohickey right there, but that's all right. It just means more time that we get to spend on the store. Yeah, so sorry about this, guys. I don't know if it's like a boring episode or maybe this is like a very exciting episode and you're like, oh, I love this so much, right? <laughs> In the terms of like, yo, you're opening a store, right? I feel like it might be boring to some people because it's like you're just doing nothing, right? You're, well, you're not doing nothing, but, you know, you're just... You're just putting stuff into place and, and organizing. Maybe some people like it. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Anyways, seafood. Seafood is something we got more of. So let's go seafood. And what is that? Shrimp. Let's go ahead and get the clams. Like, seafood sounds amazing right now. I would dig a nice shrimp and a nice oyster and a nice clam. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> let's get that time, man. <laughs> still feeling, like I said, still feeling a little bit under the weather. But, uh... I'm trucking through as much as I can here as much as can can <laughs> uh, Soda we did not get the um, we did not get the coca-cola in Did we get this in? That is not what I was looking for. All right, so we did get the other beer in which is the blue beer And like I said the drinks are gonna be something that that stores us that backs us up quite a bit um, in the back room for temporary not not permanently for temporary because we did order more than we we should have um i don't want to put like a minimum storage at 15 i don't know i just don't know how this freaking store is gonna gonna react to everything so yeah there we go all right so there we are cool 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 um pantry items still on the pantry items we still need another thing of this another jar <clears throat> i think there should be another jar yep the pickles put the pickles in there's the pickles should have spices as well um and another coffee should have another coffee as well but um i think this is like a cute little um cute little mini mart that we got going on here what color is it purple yellow black we don't have the red one in there we go looks like the coffees take a <clears throat> minimum storage of nine 
across the board here. All right. Spices. Let's go to get some spices in. Uh, la 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 la. Yes. Okay. Curry. Paprika. Is that paprika? No. Yeah. That's paprika. What is paprika? Is that like salt and pepper mix? No. Maybe not. Maybe that I'm just thinking like blues clues or something. I don't know, dude. I'm losing it. Okay. So there we go. We'll do that. Just hang on. And then we're going to get, I guess, what goes next to coffee? <laughs> what goes next to coffee? Cereal? Um, I guess anything in this store, right? Well, I guess what's going to go next to coffee in this store is going to be cereal. We're going to put cereal next to coffee. I guess cake. Well, no. I don't know. It's my store. Shut up. <laughs> I put whatever I want. I'll put cereal. No, 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 no. No, I do not want to end the office or end this day. I'll put the cereal up and then I'll put like the cake up over here. We should have more, maybe more whatchamajiggers in. No, we don't have more uh, dressing in. That's interesting. Uh, we don't even have all the cake in either. All right. We'll go boom. We'll go boom. And we'll go boom and send it off. Now, I can probably tell this man to like deliver the rest of the stuff because I don't think we have that like that much left that we need to do. Like, yeah. Where do I go to do that? There. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Still a lot of back here that needs to be undone. So we're going to do all, all this and everything. But I am excited. I am excited to see how the, the store runs. It might not be in this episode. This episode probably won't show uh, the opening of the store, uh, which is just, you know, it builds up anticipation for the next episode, right? That's how I like to leave off on things. You already know. All right. So there we go. Let's go to finish this off with some cake. Cake, 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 cake. Chocolate cake. So good. So good. There we go. And we could probably... No, actually, we can't. I was going to say, maybe we could sneak in, like, sugar. Actually, we could probably sneak sugar in on the bottoms of all these rows here. Let's try to do that. Let's go... Well, this is not all sugar, I guess. Uh, we'll put the sugar underneath the, the cake, right? We'll do that. Even though we should probably put the flour underneath the cake. And then the sugar underneath this coffee. It really doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter. And then under here, we'll go... Uh, flour. <laughs> we'll go flour. So there we go. At least it makes it fill up. And I know this means that it's gonna it's gonna kind of conflict with our um, counting of our um, our shelvings, right? But that just means more product, right? More room for products. That's all right with me. Put salt, I guess, underneath the um, underneath the, the coffee there. Okay, cool. And then let's go here. See what we got going on here. Groceries, cans, uh, berries, and nuts. Yeah, give me my berries and nuts. That's all I gotta say. I think there's one more that we have to do here for the berries and nuts boxes. Not uh, chips, too. There's chips that we still need to put out. So berries and nuts. Uh, meat, we still gotta do. Drinks, obviously, we still need to do. Uh, more unpacking, obviously, is what we need to do. Like, there's still so much that we have to do here and so little time. Like, this episode is running way too, way too freaking long, dude. Way longer than I wanted. Honestly, way longer than I wanted. There we go there. Beverages, soda, damn it. Okay. Beverages, beers. Yes. And what is that one? The green one? Then put the blue one on the bottom. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, beer. I could have just seen it myself, forehead. Could have seen it myself. Okay, liquor. Yes. Okay, this. Captain Morgan. There we go. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, more meat. I think we have right more meat. More meat we can put out. Yes, sir. Roast. The roast out and put the minced meat. We're still looking for sausages. Still need more sausages. That's all right. Boom. And then on the backside here, we'll do the backside of the water. We'll do some chips, groceries, cans. Uh, oh, wait, we still need to put out rice. So let's actually put out some rice while we're here. Rice, peel off rice, jasmine rice, and basalt, basalt, you know, the one that starts with a B. There we go. Jasmine rice is actually pretty good. I like jasmine rice. I, I could dig it. I dig, I dig the jasmine. I dig the jasmine, dude. I dig it. 
And then, uh, let's see, the chips. Yes, the chips. We still need to unpack a lot more chips, and same with the dressings, but at least we got a few out. Now, this should end up to be empty because of how we did the uh, flour, salt, and uh, sugar realm. So that should be empty. Um, I think this is everything. Yeah, I think this is all. I don't think there's anything more that the, the, that the delivery man can give us or should give us. I think this is all that we can ask for, right? I'm busy right now, apparently. Let's see. Yeah, that's everything. That's everything. We don't need uh, anything else. All right. Okay. Uh, storage is obviously a problem, but it's not going to be a problem much more late. Like later on, it won't be. But right now, it's, it's it's a little bit of issue. That's why like this is going a little bit slower than usual because storage. Storage is kind of being a a dick right now. I'll, I'll say it. It's, it's kind of being a dick. All right. So there we go. And we'll go uh, hard liquor, please. Yes, ma'am. Oh, baby. There we go. This drinks is almost done. There's one beer that's still a little bit like hurry up, but that's all right. Any more chips that we got in? No, but we got the dressings. Did you see that? We got the dressings. All right, cool. We'll unload those. We'll do that. Ranch is out. A buffalo we'll put in and then the honey mustard. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much room this is going to create. I don't know if we have much room any anywhere else. <laughs> um, oh, spices. Can we bring in more spices? What spices do we have? Uh, red. Okay, yes. Oregano. We can bring in the oregano. Sound off on the oregano, dude. There we go. Fast forward time. More of the berries and nuts should be able to come in too. As well. Oh, fruits. Those chips. That beer. I guess more flour. Oh, wild rice. Wild rice we don't have out, do we? I don't think so. And then salt? Yes, yeah, salt. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what, what the hell I just... What, what, what I just got out of that. Uh, I did not get that. Did I get the salt? Nope. Did not get the salt. I did get the chips. And the wild rice. So yes, the wild rice in the chips. We'll do that. Wild rice. Boom. Boom. And then we will do the chipperoons. Do the chipperoonies. And that is... What do we have? The blue? Okay, so then go green. And then the red. Oh, baby. There we go. And then we should be able to do the rest. Hopefully, I don't know. All right. There we go. Come back in here. Unfold this. I want to get that last beer out and the salt and the fruits. And then that I will be happy with. Apparently that's not going to happen here. <sighs> All right. So there's a little bit of compromise that we can we can do here. The compromise is simple. That's uh, storage units turning into this and going bam. I mean, eventually we'll, we'll need more in the future. So might as well just bite the bullet and buy it now. And then just go ahead and uh, do this. Could have done this a lot sooner. Uh, probably could have saved a lot of time. But uh, here we are, right? If you made it this far in the episode, good God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> just kidding. But uh, for real, like, thank you. Um, but at the same time... Right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, beer. The last beer, which is this one. The green one, I guess. Yeah, the green one. That would be that. I have not set any minimum storage. Do I feel like setting any minimum storage right now? I don't, but should I? I probably should. Um, and then the freaking fruits, dude. And was that the last of it? I think that was the last of it. Oh, no, the salt. I need to bring in the salt here as well. Yeah, I'm not going to do the minimum storage here or in this episode. I'm going to do it when the store opens officially. I'll just go through and do that myself. Um, and I will remember it, hopefully. Maybe. But there we go. All right. So that is the store. It is fully stocked for the most part. Yes, um, this is empty, but that was because of the sugar, flour, salt was supposed to go there. Now we can put something else there. Uh, but that is that. I, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Let's go ahead and double check in the back here. See if that's all. Oh, no. Sausages. Okay, that's it. Just the sausages. All right. We can do that. Okie dokie, okie dokie, honky horny, hon honky horny, honky, honky dory, damn it, honky horny, honky dory, Th that is very, very too close together, <laughs> alright, let's leave the store, 
Holy crap. Payment, yep, $373 in rent, not too bad. Not too bad at all. With $9,000 still left over and a bunch of people to hire, which how many people we have potentially to hire? Um, let's see, one person. And he's a freaking PhD. <laughs> Nicholas, you might become the daily manager. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so that's the way to end the episode, I guess. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Sorry for about being, you know, me and all that and, and being under the weather. But um, I, I soon to hopefully get back into the work of things. But uh, thank you guys so much for the continued support. And if you have made it this far and you are a member of the channel, I do want to just briefly say... Thank you so much for being a member of the channel. You being a member of the channel actually gives me the opportunity to spend more time on the channel itself and work on content every single day without you guys being members and supporting the channel every single day. Um, really, it would put me in a little bit of a bind and uh, probably wouldn't have enough time to to focus on YouTube right now. But uh, as in the moment, temporarily right now, I can focus my more efforts on YouTube at the moment. And that's solely because of not only people watching the videos, but also the members. The members really, really do make a difference more than you think. Even if it is uh, three, five, ten dollars a month, that's a huge difference to be. And uh, I just wanted to say deeply, um, if you made it this far, that I do appreciate it and thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'll see you very soon in the next video or stream, wherever that may be. All right, do take care.